And we're back. In the last quarter of the game. See, I got plenty of Magnum rounds now. Yeah, now. Plenty of ink ribbons, too, I notice. Yep. Plenty of flame rounds, too. Good thing there's that kerosene can there. Oh yes, because that is so useful at this point in the game. Oh, there's still zombies. What am I doing? I forgot, actually. Oh, right, MO discs. I need those. Oh yeah. Hmm. That MO disc they give you like halfway through the game that doesn't serve a point until now. Isn't it basically just to let Chris out of his cell? Yep. Stupid grenade rounds. <laughs> you made me look bad. They do have an arc to their uh, firing, yes. Kind of a strange arc, too. Eh, a little bit, maybe. Kinda, sorta. I got it at the perfect angle, where it just falls on screen all burnt up and dead. Mm, nice. It's locked electronically. Honestly, I don't think in, in reality locked doors wouldn't be that big of a deal. Eh. Not when you have the power of gun. <laughs> Or rocket launcher, yeah. But it'd be more likely you just have a regular gun. And there were zombies off screen. Got that one. <laughs> nice. That arc finally worked in my favor. Yes. I still wonder if they're gonna bring back the uh, burning corpses thing for. Resident Evil Remake 2. That's a good question. There's a lot more zombies in Remake 2. So. Oh yeah, holy shit. An x-ray of what? Just an x-ray. An x-ray of some guy's stomach. And somebody else's stomach. Because why not? There's something scrawled on the notepad here. Why do they leave hints around for how their puzzles work for their employees? Because it wouldn't be a puzzle otherwise, Alex. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. Oh, God. The results of my test came in today. They're positive. I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything to not become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected, because, you know, we fucked a bunch, I guess. I don't know. Blah blah blah, desert pass, visual data room. Then activate the self destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this incident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using this system something. I find it kind of interesting that Ada was actually working here, apparently. She is a spy. Apparently, also a scientist, or good enough at pretending to be a scientist. She knows enough to fake it until she makes it. All I'm imagining is Ada in like a lab coat and like a polo shirt and anybody questions her credentials she just unbuttons a couple buttons. <laughs> so I guess I am a scientist. Yes, my cleavage uh, says so. And because I'm sure Umbrella employs, employs a bunch of lonely nerds, they're like, oh, breath. Mm -hmm. Kitty. Except for Annette Birkin. She was like the one female scientist. Yeah. Uh, two. There was one in Resident Evil um, Outbreak. Two, actually. Two. Actually, three, now that I think about it. Yoko, that chick that Yoko worked with. 
And then that trick in Outbreak File 2. Mm -hmm. That helps what's his face with the uh the Thanatos. Right. That dumbass that totally gets his ass shanked because he's an idiot trying to control a tire with a remote control. Yes, that guy. Not only is it a tyrant, it's one of those smart tyrants that's supposed to be able to learn while, well, you know. Uh huh. So, you know, this guy standing here threatening it with blowing up its brain with the remote. And the tyrant's just kind of looking at him like, are you for fucking real? <laughs> you have given me ample reason to stab your shit as soon as your back is turned. Yeah, needless to say, it didn't work out too well for that guy. He does, in fact, get shanked, but you can also pick up the remote and use it on the tyrant. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't shank your shit, too. Indeed. I believe that is also the fight where... If you're hit by, I think, one of its, like, freak out, freaking out attack, claw attacks, it kills you instantly. Ah, uh, yes. Via throat cut, I guess. Evidently. No, everything's in order. Now, I notice the red glow on the first one there, and I'm thinking, he must have eaten Taco Bell recently. I kind of want Taco Bell. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking about that earlier, but uh, I know I'm not really a big Taco Bell fan, honestly. Except for all those times you ate Taco Bell. Except those times. I mean, yes, Taco Bell has things on their menu that I will eat, but comparatively, they are few. Don't look at me, I order off the dollar menu. It's locked. A symbol resembling a power area. How do you know what that even looks like? It's an abstract concept. I don't know. <laughs> like a picture of a lightning bolt or something? I guess. Make them rounds. And you didn't pick them up. Yet. <laughs> They must have been used to displace. No shit. Gee. Could it possibly be that that's what LCD monitors are for? Displaying things. I also like how this journal is fucking bloodstained. Well, they tried to feed it. I love it. Termination is definitely not an option. Really? And why, pray tell, is termination not an option? John. The speed at which I'm typing this just reminds me of, uh... Makes me think of how I'm sure it is for Garrus when he tries to type on the human keyboard. <laughs> He has to hunt and peck. Ah, poor Garrus. On a completely unrelated note, all of the ki- <sighs> Fuck. All of the toilets in this kingdom shall henceforth be known as JOHN'S! For some reason. <laughs> uh, the password is... Sal. I thought the password was Ada. Totally argue if that's something I did. <laughs> wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. Real fighters communicate with their fists. How about with their mouths? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Frozen bodies. And a stun gun battery for some reason. Because why the fuck not? Like, I don't get why that's in a room with a bunch of frozen bodies. It's like why asking... Or, Jesus. 
asking why there's ammo in a room with a bar and a piano. Uh, because at that point, I'm pretty sure the zombies had been loose. I mean, it is right outside the hallway where the first zombie is. My point was more, it's a video game. Yeah, but still. Ugh. I like how there's a, there's, they've got LCD monitors and a bunch of CRTs. Yeah. Um. Well, Japan. I mean, they can obviously afford a bunch of more expensive monitors. Well, yes. Hey. Seriously, all I can think of in response to that statement is Japan. <laughs> As you say, sounds like a government office to me. Or that, yeah. We have these nice, C uh, nice LCD monitors, but uh, the system we're running, the POS system we have, runs on MS DOS. <laughs> yeah, I still use Windows XP at work. That's what it was like when I worked at Flying J. The point of sale system was running on DOS. Yeah, I believe it. In fact, I am running a virtual machine on Windows XP to emulate an older version of Windows. <laughs> it's kind of pathetic, really. Shotgun shells. Security protocols. For executive use only. <laughs> Shotgun shells for executive use only. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> In case of emergency, <laughs> use these. Oh, God. Keith Arving. E. Smith. A. Wait a minute. Wesker? I think that would, uh, that's probably the point where Jules was kind of like, nah, couldn't be. And then just sets it down. Probably so. Like, I'm sure there's a bunch of other Weskers out there. Respect. Yeah, I mean, it's a totally common last name. It's like the Smith of, um, wherever the fuck Raccoon City is. <laughs> who's, uh, whose first name also starts with A. Yeah, it's, it's totally coincidence. It can't possibly be the same guy. I wonder if it is actually an actual real last name. I should look that up. Wesker. I've never heard the name Wesker before. Guess the password, Alex. Are you honestly guessing? The funny thing is, I was actually close to the number. I was like actually one or two off. My memories of this particular puzzle are kind of vague. It's not really a puzzle, you're just looking for something to tell you the code, right? That's a puzzle. There's a problem, and I need to figure out the solution. It is a puzzling situation. <laughs> right. Dog. Make, Zombie dog. Makes sense. And then, like, you flip to the next chance, like, what? Shark? What? And it, suddenly Alex is pissing himself. I'd just be like, I'd be looking at these slides like, wait, how did we progress here? Oh, wait a minute. Wesker, what are you doing with these, these umbrella scientists of shady nature? These nerds. Why are you wearing your sunglasses in a laboratory? Oh my god, I just realized sunglasses during the day are a Japanese sign of a shady person. Kind How of. could it be? Kind of. Well, there's. Well, Kakulin wasn't really shady. It's, it's a stereotype, Alex. Everybody knows that cool guys wear sunglasses, even at night. I wear my sunglasses at night. And then I went back in here for some reason, thinking, like, you know, I'm pretty sure the film told me the code at the end. I thought it did, in fact. It does, but I have to put something in the slide to actually show the Oh, yeah, this. that's right. So what is that flashy object near the door that you're repeatedly ignoring? An MO disc that I don't actually need yet. Oh, right. Fucking the, MO discs. The password is actually 8462. 8462. You can just put that in at this point, right? I could have if I had remembered at the time. 
So some games do this thing where you need to find the key item before it will actually accept the password or what have you. <laughs> Paper Mario Thousand Year Door did that, but they do it in a amusing way. And that thing? There's there's an enemy that you run into who is to, who's like, well, you win if you can guess what my name is. And his name is Duplis, but if you try to put that in, the letter P is just not there at all. In the, in the entry point, and entry, in the letter entry. Wow. So you have to go on a brief quest to find a chest that has the letter P in it. Wow. <laughs> that is amazing. I love it. And next time on Radical Bromance. The letter P.